moving right along. So we've done add device, dual stream, secure export, and now we're on to layout as an action. So layout as an action, pretty simple, pretty useful, can do really cool stuff with it, right? Uh, layout as an action is exactly what it sounds like. It's the ability to automate uh, the opening of layouts in the events and rules engine um, using rules. Um, so, how it works. Uh, when you're defining a rule, like for example, if there's motion on this uh, camera or there's an, a specific event that takes place on this camera um, or there's um, a soft trigger um, that you would like to push and open a layout. Um, those things can all be accomplished uh, as the event triggers and then opening a layout is the action trigger. Um, so in order to do this you gotta choose the open layout as an action um, you gotta choose the target layout uh, and you gotta select which users uh, should be able to see this behavior. Um, then you kind of save the rule, exit, and give yourself a high five uh, for being awesome. So, let's do it. Um, the best way to show this to me uh, is to show uh, how you can use this to do something like create uh, multi-layer maps. Right? Common request we get, this is a way you can do it now. Um, you use soft trigger, uh, and then you set up two different layouts. With different maps uh, and you put a soft trigger on top of the one of the cameras on the original map uh, and when you go to want to go to the next map you can go ahead and put a uh, put a soft trigger on top of that one camera that opens that as an action so i've set that up so we got map one here which is kind of a really ugly map of a potential school uh, you can see i've got some cameras on here uh, spread around different spots uh, kind of like it would be in the real world um, and then you've got the fisheye camera here with an embedded map icon. So when I click on this, it's going to open up another map um, with the other cameras that are relative to that map. So how did I set that up? Well, I went to this camera here. I went to camera rules. I created a soft trigger called embedded map. Uh, remember, you can call this whatever you want. Um, I selected an icon. we got to add a map icon because right now we don't have that. Uh, so I just use an arrow. Uh, and then when I push that button on this fisheye camera, and remember you can add soft trigger to as many cameras uh, as you want, then I want to open a layout. And then under layout, I've got shared layouts. The layouts have to be shared with the users. Uh, they have to be shared in order for you to select them. Um, and they can be shared with different users or different roles. But in this case, we're going to go with map two as our um, target map. Uh, and then I'm going to show it to... Right now I've got all users, so I'll just go in and modify that to be owners and administrators and press apply. So here you go, that's what you get. You get that, close it again, um, click it, and it should open unless I'm logged in as something that I shouldn't be logged in. Let me check that again. Okay, soft trigger, fisheye, open layout, system, all users. All administrators, you know what? Let's just show all users. Why not? Uh, and then make sure your interval action is instant. Let's try that again. There you go. So that's how you can uh, use the open layout as an action to do something like multi layered maps. Uh, you can also use it as an automated feature. So if a specific event occurs, uh, you want that layout to open up for operators. So, pretty cool feature. Uh, brings along with it some a lot of extra capabilities uh, in XWitness, especially for uh, you know situational awareness. Keep your operators up to date on what's happening. Open layouts that are most relevant to them uh, when specific events occur, or even build a multi-layered map um, with soft triggers so that you can navigate back and forth between maps from the cameras themselves. Cool new feature.